All drugs, with few exceptions, affect the nervous system, and therefore the brain. The brain is often compared to a computer. It stores information, relays messages, and is responsible for the coordination of all physical and mental activity. The brain is also a very complex chemical system, and the cells of the brain produce hundreds of substances necessary for normal brain function. One group of substances are called chemical transmitters. Some of the chemical transmitters are needed to stimulate or speed up brain activity, while other chemical transmitters depress or slow down the activity of the brain. It is now believed that the drugs affect the nervous system by influencing the action of these chemical transmitters. On the surface of each nerve cell are little connectors. One cell could have as many as 10,000 of these connectors. Within these connectors are the chemical transmitters, either those which speed up or slow down brain activity. As an electrical impulse from a nerve cell hits one of these connectors, it promotes the release of the chemical transmitter, which is stored within that connector. The chemical transmitter then moves toward an extremely sensitive area on the second cell. This sensitive area is called a receptor site because it receives the chemical transmitter. The second cell reacts to this chemical transmitter and releases its own impulse. Remember that the chemical transmitter can either stimulate or depress brain activity in a normally functioning brain. These two opposing forces are kept in delicate balance. How might drugs affect this delicate balance? Stimulants such as amphetamines or dexedrine may act in such a manner as to force the connector to overexcite the cell by releasing more of the stimulating chemical transmitter. The cells of the brain become excited and work faster. This affects the rest of the body. The heart beats faster. The rate of breathing increases. Blood pressure shoots up. When the drug is withdrawn, there is a reverse of this process as the brain and the body struggle to return to normalcy. A drug such as LSD may block the receptor site which receives the depressant chemical transmitter. There is then nothing to slow down the activity of the brain. The brain is overstimulated. This excessive stimulation may result in hallucinations and a number of other behavioral changes. Drugs like morphine and heroin may act in a number of ways. They could interfere or block the release of stimulating chemical transmitter and cause brain activity to slow down. Morphine or heroin may also influence these systems within the cell that produce energy by interfering with the production of energy. The drug stops nerve cells from functioning normally. It is also believed that these drugs can actually substitute for certain systems and chemical processes necessary for the cell to function. This creates the physical dependence for the drug. For when the morphine is withdrawn, the cells may not be able to function without it, and the brain and the body are tortured to return to a normal state. Barbiturates act similarly to morphine. They are depressants and slow down brain activity. The body reacts, breathing becomes slower, and in some cases may even stop. The heart beats weakly, blood pressure drops, and once again the agony of the human brain and body to return to a healthy, functioning state.